The Outcross by Gen 3 is an all-terrain fat tire electric bike. It's got four inch knobby tires and robust suspension and offers stable riding, whether you're uh, off-road or hitting those pesky street to sidewalk transitions. It's everything you're looking for in a mountain bike with all the amazing benefits and super fun experience you get with a powerful electric bike. In this video, we'll go over the Outcross in detail, going over all the great features that make this an extremely flexible bike for a huge range of different riders. Let's get started by going through all the features that make the Outcross a solid electric bike. Gen 3 electric bikes feature powerful rear hub brushless motors from the experts at Bafong. Bafong are industry leading designers of e-drive systems with a proven performance and reliability record. The rear hub motor that drives the Outcross features a thousand watts of peak power, providing amazing performance and speed. Its 290 RPM rating delivers the quick acceleration that makes electric bikes so fun to ride. The Outcross will hit max speeds of 20 miles per hour using either pedal assist or just by hitting the throttle, no pedaling needed. Easily powering up hills is one of the major reasons why people are interested in electric bikes. That's why an electric bike's power and torque rating are so important. The Outcross offers 80 newton meters per torque, so you have plenty of hill climbing power for even the biggest inclines. Having a rock solid motor with quick acceleration and the power to tackle hills is what you're looking for in an electric bike, and the Outcross delivers on all fronts. Range is extremely important when it comes to electric bikes. Range is an estimation of how far you can go with the bike before needing a recharge. It's a critical factor when you're considering an eco-friendly commute or determining how far you can take your next adventure. Gen 3 takes both performance and safety extremely seriously, and the lithium ion battery used in the Outcross really excels on both fronts. Let's talk performance first. The Outcross features a 500 watt hour battery pack that easily delivers a range of up to 35 miles. Of course, range is variable. Range increases due to factors like riding on flat terrain and using lower amounts of pedal assist or throttle. If you're going full throttle while hitting big hills, it can affect your overall range. Gen 3 battery packs are a removable design that integrate nicely into the bike frame for a really clean look. You get two different charging options with the Outcross. If you have the space to bring your electric bike into the house or garage for charging, you can simply plug into the bike frame to charge. If you can't bring your bike inside to charge, simply pop out the battery and take it wherever is most convenient for charging. This is great for commuters who bring their batteries into the office to ensure a full charge before the ride home or for homes that don't have space inside for a bike. The included wall charger has LED indications to let you know the charge status. If the LED is red, you're actively charging. A green light means the battery is fully charged. The battery level can be checked directly on the battery pack. Just press the indicator button. If the lights are blue, you're charged between 75 and 100%. Green indicates a 25 to 75% charge. And if the battery has less than 25% charge, the LED is red. You also get real-time battery capacity feedback on the integrated display during your ride. This factors in real-time performance and shows you how much charge you have left based on your current riding conditions. If you're tearing up a hill, it will lower, and if you are on low pedal assist setting or headed downhill, it will raise. You can also purchase additional wall chargers and battery packs from gen3ride.com. Keep an extra wall charger at work for a midday recharge or have an extra battery pack charged up for a quick change out. With lithium ion batteries, safety is very important. At Gen 3, we go through extreme measures to make sure your battery pack meets stringent safety standards. Unlike many other electric bike designers, we invest heavily in safety. After all, 52 individual lithium ion battery cells are positioned right under you as you ride. Each Gen 3 battery pack meets the UL2271 safety standard. This is an exhaustive safety protocol that puts the battery pack through extensive and expensive testing to ensure there's no issues with the pack design. Using a battery management system, Gen 3 electric bikes deliver three levels of protection circuitry, including overcharge, over temperature, and individual cell monitoring protection. Ride with confidence, knowing your bike's battery system offers the highest level of safety available. Especially important with a mountain bike, but applicable to any multi-geared bike, is smooth and reliable shifting. Gen 3 electric bikes use Shimano shifters, derailleurs, and freewheels to deliver premium performance. Shimano is the number one most trusted brand in bicycle components and delivers great performance. The Outcross Fat Tire Bike is a seven-speed design, offering a range of gearing to get you what you need on any ride. 
you're an experienced rider of traditional bikes, you can still hit the roads or trails the way you're used to, getting in all that great exercise by turning off the motor and using the gearing. Activate the motor for pedal assist when you want or need to, while still getting the workout you desire. It's also great for those relatively new to biking. You can start your experience using more of the motor and slowly back off, using the gears to get where you need and increase your overall fitness and health. The Outcross's seven speed shifting system features a couple of great technologies developed by Shimano. The first is HG Hyperglide. It involves specially positioned shift ramps and tooth profiles on the sprockets to deliver improved chain control during shifting. The end result is fast and responsive shifting. The second Shimano technology at play is SIS or Shimano Index Shifting. It's a technology behind the click you hear and feel when you shift through your gears. Shimano's proprietary tech ensures the components work together in harmony to create an extremely smooth, always consistent shifting experience. The simple move of your thumb delivers perfect gear changes, directing derailers in harmony and creates a feel that resonates in your hand, letting you know your commands are being answered. The motor and battery pack mean electric bikes are heavier than traditional bikes. More weight and more speed means more momentum that requires robust stopping power that has to hold up under all weather conditions for rider safety. The Outcross uses Gen 3 custom design mechanical disc brakes and levers to deliver reliable stopping power. Disc brakes deliver great performance, even in wet weather. The Outcross's 160 millimeter disc brake rotors are made using steel to offer strength and reliability. Using a mechanical system to connect the brake levers to the disc brake ensures reliability and drastically improves serviceability over time. The 26 by four inch tires on the Outcross are from CST, the largest manufacturer of bicycle tires in the world. These beefy tires are from their BFT series, which stands for big fat tire. Fat tires have great benefits. They include large knobs to dig in on tight turns and tough climbs. They also hold a lot of air, which work in conjunction with the suspension forks to deliver an extremely stable riding experience across a huge range of terrain types. Street to sidewalk transitions, uneven sidewalks, and varying types of trails are no problem for the Outcross. To minimize the risk of tire punctures that can put a pause on your adventure, these tires feature CST's EPS technology. The acronym means Exceptional Puncture Safety, which this tire delivers. Simply put, less flats and less punctures when out riding. Aside from the normal materials that go into making a high quality bike tire, EPS also offers an added layer of proprietary rubberized polyfiber material between the tread and the casing. The tight weave of this lightweight layer helps prevent foreign objects from penetrating the casing and damaging the tube. All Gen 3 electric bikes feature front suspension shocks with adjustable features that let you dial in the suspension to meet your wants and needs. Front suspension is a great bike feature. It allows the front tires to move up and down dynamically to follow the curves of the terrain, drastically reducing movement of the rest of the bike. This not only helps with traction and control, it also creates a comfortable ride and softens the effects of things like potholes and bumps in the sidewalk. The Outcross suspension offers up to 100 millimeters of travel, which provides flexibility for the type of ride you're planning or for the type of rider you are. The Outcross suspension is ideal for fat tire bike that needs to be equally comfortable on roads and single track mountain bike trails. To change suspension settings, simply adjust the preload for more or less compression based on your preference, or turn the suspension off completely for rigid road riding and maximum efficiency. One of the great benefits of an electric bike is all the control you get over your riding experience. Having a nice ergonomic control interface is critical. It not only provides you control over the bike, it also provides you access to a ton of great information like trip distances and more. Gen 3 electric bikes use a low profile backlit display controller mounted for left hand control over your bike. Let's talk about the primary control features first. To turn on the bike interface, press and hold the mode button until the bike power engages. If you're using pedal assist to power your bike, this is where you control the intensity. Just hit the plus or minus button to control how much power the motor provides as you pedal. For those new to electric bikes, we highly suggest starting with zero or level one pedal assist as you get comfortable with the power the bike provides. Keep in mind that when set to zero, you don't get any pedal assist or throttle function. It can be a thrilling experience to dial this all the way up, but it's important to ease into this as the bike is very powerful. This is also where the throttle lives. The throttle is completely independent of the pedal assist feature, which is the press of your thumb. You get access to the bike's full power without pedaling. This is great when you're just cruising around for a fun ride or when you need a bit of a break from pedaling, but still want to keep things moving. Just like the pedal assist feature, 
ease into your use of the throttle since the bike's full power is available to you. Okay, let's talk about some of the other features and information you can get from the controller. The upper left corner shows you a real-time battery level indicator. It is important to know that this is not a direct indication of your battery capacity level. To check that, you'll want to press the button on the battery pack to see if you need to charge. Instead, this battery display is actively considering your current riding condition in real time and estimating how much battery is left if you continue riding in the same way. For example, even in a fully charged battery, if you're tearing up a steep hill on full throttle, you'll see the battery level drop a bit. If you kept up that pace, the range is reduced. This is exactly what this indicator is telling you. Head downhill or dial back your pedal assistance and you'll see the battery level increase. Always be sure to know your actual battery level capacity by checking on the battery pack itself on the bike's down tube. Combined, you always know how much range you should expect based on your current riding conditions. The center of your display shows your speed. This can be displayed in either miles per hour or kilometers per hour. Check your user manual on how to adjust this setting. If you press the M and the minus button at the same time for two seconds, you can toggle between real-time speed, max speed, and average speed. In the bottom left, you see the distance indicator. This includes an odometer that shows the total amount of miles the bike has been ridden. A short press on the M button will change the readout to trip distance, so you can keep track of your current ride. Another short press, and you can see the trip time. Together, these offer great feedback about your overall bike usage and the stats about your current ride. Together, these offer great feedback about your overall bike usage and the stats about your current ride. And, of course, you can reset your trip time and trip distance. Check out the user manual for details. The top right of the display provides indication for two more great features. Hold the plus button for two seconds. This will activate the bike's front headlight and also turn on the display's light. Of course, it's great to always use your front headlight when riding. It makes you much more visible to vehicles and other riders. We suggest using your front headlight when riding. The display is also now lit up, which is nice when riding in low light conditions. You can also adjust how bright the display is. Please refer to the owner's manual to learn how to access this setting. The last indicator shows you when walk assist is enabled. Press and hold the minus button for two seconds and a minimal amount of power pushes your bike to assist when walking. Walk assist works only when you continue holding the minus button. This is especially useful when walking your bike up an incline. Be sure to test the walk assist feature in a clear open area so you can get comfortable with the level of assist it provides. You'll see the walk assist indicator on the screen. Simply let go of the minus button or engage the brakes to exit the walk assist mode. There are a good amount of settings you can tweak using the display. To learn more, check your owner's manual for a section on interface display operations. All Gen 3 electric bikes come standard with lights to help you be more visible to vehicles and other riders, and to help you get around in low light conditions. The front headlight is the Xendo 40 model from Spaninga. The headlight features a high power Rebel LED that uses reverse beam technology. It delivers an impressive 40 lux light output in bright and focused light beam. The front headlight is fully integrated into the bike's electronic system, so no batteries are needed. Each Gen 3 bike also includes a battery powered seat post taillight for even more visibility. Click the taillight button once for solid red or click twice for blinking taillights. The included AAA batteries are easy to replace, but be sure to turn off the taillight when your ride is over to conserve batteries. Now that your Gen 3 electric bike is assembled, you've learned about all the great features and read the owner's manual, let's get ready to ride. Here you see the battery pack integrated into the frame of your Gen 3 electric bike. Before you head out for your first ride, make sure your battery is fully charged. We talked earlier in the video about the two ways to charge your battery. Just be sure you're charged up. Next, you see the battery lock. Locking the battery into the frame helps keep it secure and connected while riding. If you need to take the battery out to charge it or swap it with a spare on a long ride, just insert the key, turn it counterclockwise to unlock the battery. The top of the battery will pop out and you can easily remove it. The battery will need to be inserted and locked in place for the bike to operate. To insert the battery pack, simply place it in the frame bottom first. Then press on the top of the battery until it is flush with the frame. You'll hear it and feel it click into place. Always be sure to store your keys in a safe area. You get two with the bike and it's a good idea to store them in two separate locations so you always have your backup. Before you can power up the bike, you need to insert the key and turn it to the on position. 
Once it is in the on position, you can remove the key to ride safely. Keep track of that key. To turn on the bike, press and hold the mode button for two seconds. The display will activate and you will know you're powered up. Important note here, for many, this will be your first electric bike. While they're extremely fun to ride, try getting used to the power electric bikes provide before you really crank things up. By default, the bike will start up with pedal assist at level one. This is definitely where you need to start. For safety, we suggest turning on the headlight. You do this by holding down the plus sign for two seconds. Find a familiar and open space for your first ride. Start riding and get a feel for the power of the motor. When you're comfortable, press the plus button to increase your level of pedal assist. Gen 3 electric bikes are powerful and you want to ease into it. Make sure you test out your brakes. Electric bikes are heavier than traditional bikes and require more stopping power. Plus, the disc brakes are also very powerful and you want to get a feel for how they're going to slow you down. Always be sure to use both the front and the rear brakes together for the safest possible stop. Check out your shifter also, working through the available gears. If you plan on using pedal assist or the throttle on your ride, we suggest using gear six, maybe seven, but it's important to know how to use them. So be sure to move through them all and get a sense for how they affect your pedaling. And once you're comfortable using pedal assist and you get a feel for how the brakes react at different speeds, you can try out the throttle. Located on the left side, attached to the display is the throttle. It allows you to access the full power of the bike without the need to pedal. Stop pedaling and apply a small amount of pressure to the throttle using your thumb. And as you get comfortable, experiment with more power by pressing harder. The throttle and pedal assist are independent, but the riding experience is gonna be seamless. Feel free to use either or both at the same time while out for a ride. When you're done riding, you can press and hold the M button for two seconds to turn the bike off. It will also power off automatically after 10 minutes of non-use to help conserve your battery power. But be sure to turn off your rear light. All right, you've learned about all the features and how to get prepped for your first ride. Let's take a minute to talk about the world-class service and support options available through Gen3 and our partners. If you're simply curious about electric bikes, their features, how to buy, or just want some help finding out which Gen3 bike is right for you, we're here to help. Visit our website at gen3ride.com to look through our current bike models, access all our video content, and look through our FAQs and other knowledge base articles to get you in the know. If you're looking for a more personal approach, you can call us or email our support team. Our experienced support team is available 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific time, seven days a week. And as always, visit our support center anytime at support.gen3ride.com. Here you can chat with our team during normal support hours. There's also a comprehensive knowledge base that covers the most frequently asked questions and more. Gen 3 electric bikes are easy to assemble right out of the box. Our owner's manual offers a step-by-step -step approach and we have easy to understand assembly videos available for each Gen 3 bike. Visit gen3ride.com, support.gen3ride.com or our Gen 3 channel on YouTube to check out the bike assembly videos. Also, we do offer premium bike assembly as a service through our partners at VeloFix. VeloFix is a mobile bike shop that can come to you for your bike assembly or for general service. Their highly trained fleet of bike mechanics can come out to a huge range of locations in the US and Canada. Before you consider VeloFix bike assembly or service, be sure to visit velofix.com in your zip code or postal code to ensure they have mechanics in your area. If you're ready for expert bike assembly service, you can purchase this at the time you buy your Gen 3 bike. You'll see it as an add-on. Purchase this and we'll get you in contact with VeloFix to arrange your bike assembly. To take advantage of a one-year limited warranty on your new Gen 3 electric bike, you need to register your bike at gen3ride.com. Once you're registered, your limited warranty is active starting on your dates of purchase. To see the full terms and conditions for the one-year limited warranty, visit gen3ride.com slash warranty. It covers any defects in materials, or worksmanship for a huge range of covered components. If you're having any issues at all during assembly or during a ride, reach out to the Gen 3 customer support team. They might be able to quickly get you back on the road. Or if there's a real issue, they can help you determine if it's covered under warranty. If you're looking for general services like tune-ups and maintenance, we highly suggest our service partners at VeloFix. They are a mobile bike shop that comes to you. They have a wide coverage network that covers the US and Canada, visit velofix.com to check if their mobile service is available in your area. And if not, contact a local bike shop in your area for general bike maintenance and service outside of warranty. 
And of course, please visit our help center at support.gen3ride.com. We have a library of FAQs and other help documents to answer your questions before you decide on any service. One thing that sets Gen 3 apart is a dedicated US-based customer service team that's always ready to help. They're here to help anyone with questions about electric mobility and always there to support Gen 3 customers to get the most out of their ride. Our customer support team is available seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific time. And if you prefer to chat, visit support.gen3ride.com to chat with them during open hours. And of course, check support.gen3ride.com for periodic updates on our support page. Here you can check out frequently asked questions, delve into our knowledge base, or contact our customer support team. Gen 3 electric bikes are easy to assemble and extremely easy to use, but we're here for you for any questions you might have. Just reach out. That was the full overview of the Outcross Fat Tire electric bike from Gen 3. I hope you got a sense of all the great features that this bike offers. All the tech stuff is very cool, but nothing compares to the experience of getting out there on an electric bike. With the Outcross, you get a rock solid, all-terrain electric fat tire bike that's perfectly suited to deliver an amazing experience no matter where you ride. We think electric bikes are awesome and hope you do too. The sense of freedom, the wind in your face, and the exhilarating power to zoom up a hill without pedaling are genuine thrills. Please visit gen3ride.com for more info, including tons more videos. Reach out to us at support at gen3ride.com or at support.gen3ride.com if you have any questions. Thank you for choosing Gen 3 electric bikes. Now get out there and have some real fun.